Got me in my hand just now. There we go. The guard be. There the little rat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, we haven't even got started yet, and Ralph got stung. Right. Hello, it's Mr. Red and Wreck It Ralph. Good time, Charlie. We're all here, and we're ready to wrangle, wrangle some bees. bees. Mm, rock and roll. Today we're in Lacombe, Louisiana. Uh, we're about about 10 miles from Charlie's house and about 15 miles from the Abbey. So Charlie met us, Ralph and I, here today. And the homeowners here actually is somebody I used to work with, Scott and his wife, Melanie. They, they're the homeowners. They're going to redo the little shed area back here and to do that before they do that they got bees in there and they want us to remove them now i didn't bring my flare today but ralph brought his so ralph you want to show them what the uh the uh bees are going to look like we're gonna we have to we'll, we're on the outside right now but we're gonna have to go on the inside to show you where the bees are so we're gonna go inside and show you where the All bees right. are our bees in this little section of cabinet right here in the wall in the back of the cabinet you can see it's a little signature right there. It's not much. But they are right there. Right about in that little area. Right above that can. So we're going to take them out from the outside. It would be a lot easier than having to take all this cabinet out because it's all one big old piece. So it'd be a lot easier from the outside. And since they got to remodel anyway, it'll be easier on them. Obviously, Fred, you see the entrance to the beehive right here? There's a stud right here. So the bottom of that stud is rotted out. And the bees are just crawling underneath that. And the space they are in, the stud is right here to right here. And the bees are about right here on this. So Ralph is just going to open up the wall on the outside right here and expose that hive. All right, so there's the layout. You saw the bees inside in that nasty cabinet where we don't have to pull that out. So much easier to do it on the outside. Uh, and it should be a pretty straightforward job. And I know with Wreck-It Ralph on the demo, Good Time Charlie on the video, and Mr. Ed on the talking, it's going to be a good one. So, y'all ready to wrangle? Ready to wrangle. By the ready. grace Go. of God, we're going to get these bees out of here. They're going home with Ralph today. Y'all oh ready? Boy. Ready. We got Jeff putting on a space suit here. Yeah, well... I don't know what these bees are going to do. It's nice out here today. It's only about 75 degrees. It's supposed to get rain a little bit. So hopefully yeah. we get out, get out of here quick before it comes. You ready to cut that wall, Ralph? I'm waiting on instruction. <laughs> Pick up the saw and cut away. <laughs> Poor Ralph. Yeah, I'll wait Poor on Ralph. instructions. <laughs> I mean, I'm new to this job. Yeah, you've never done that before, huh? Now one thing Ralph doesn't have to worry about is hitting any kind of wires in here because the whole building is, there's no power in this building. So if there is a wire going through it, it won't matter if he cuts it or not. So he doesn't have to worry about going. <laughs> well, Ralph's a professional. He don't cut wires. Only Jeff cuts wires. Exactly. Yeah, well, exactly. I'm not a professional. Oh, look, look, we have proof. Look, there is no power to the building. No power. <laughs> I see comb. You got comb coming out. That's right, just flip it over on the side. There you go, Scott. That's good, right? You can set it on the side right next to it, Ralph. I see one next to it. I gotta cut another one. Yeah. Yeah, set that right just like that and then cut that other side next to it. 
I'm going to have to cut this. And there it is. The uh, it, it's not a lot of bees on it, in it, but we can expect that for this time of year. And there's a lot of still bees along this side. So I'm going to start getting the bees with the vacuum and looking for our queen. I've removed all the comb in there, but 
we have about two and a half, three inches space right here, right beneath this sill. And that's where the bees have all gone gone up into. So I think we're gonna we're gonna have to remove some of this stuff right here so we can get to see where that sill is and then remove this stuff right here to, to open that up because th there's too many bees up in there for us to spray honey robber and there's probably not any space in there for it to come into. So we're gonna remove this and see if we can expose those bees. Man. You can you see that's why we need Wreck It Ralph on the job with us. I mean that guy is just like a natural demo guy. So you can see there's almost three inches of comb up here and all the bees are clustered right here. So you know our chances are very good that this is where our queen is going to be over here. I'll remove this comb right here and show those bees a little bit more and hopefully we'll see our queen up inside of there. That's awesome. Disappointing, huh? <laughs> this, I mean, I don't see how I could have not gotten the queen. So either there wasn't a queen in here to begin with, or we did get her and she's in the back. But I did not see any kind of old brood, cat brood, any kind of evidence of a queen. Now, December, our queens are shutting down, but they're 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 not shut down completely. So. There should have been some evidence of a queen, your brood, inside of there. Uh, there were a lot of high beetles in this thing. Um, we're going to wait a few minutes and let these few bees that are out here gather up. And I've opened up the back of the plywood right here, but it's there's nothing back there but the cabinets behind it. So they didn't crawl in there. I've taken the comb out of the wall right here. Nothing there. We, we don't have any comb any here. So there's no pocket of bees left other than the few bees that are flying around so we're gonna wait a few minutes and let these bees gather up and there's always the chance that if she did fall on the ground that we can come back and look on the ground and because and, there's usually if she's on the ground there'll be a few bees you know to give her away and folks it ain't there no more another one out of the wall and into a nuke. All right. Ralph is my hair. Thanks for watching. Yes. Huh? Your hair looks good. Huh? good. Y'all got? Y'all want a mirror? We got. Well. You yeah, need a we, mirror? We wait. Wait. Let me. Let me see. Let's see, Ralph. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah. Mine. Oh wait. Okay. Gotta fix my part. Y'all gonna have to start bringing your own right, beautician with y'all. That's right. That's right. You know. You should what I mean? do. It's I mean, a, with all the money y'all make here, I know. You should be I able to afford this. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Oh wait, not yet. Not yet, Ralph. Good. Just give us a, a, at least two minutes, not one minute, huh? All right, Charlie, you're up. What what happened, Charlie? Oh man, it was kind of depressing. Yeah. It was a small high. But it was it was great that Ralph was with us. You got you got to he got to share your sorrows. He won't let me talk. <laughs> Poor Charlie. He won't let me. I, I know, Ralph. Anyway, yeah, Ralph. Oh man, Poor we hadn't Charlie. seen him in a while. Uh, he's been out camping. He's been seeing the world, you know. Well, Ralph gets around. But anyway, getting back to those bees, anyway, there wasn't very many bees, and we didn't get to see the queen. I didn't get to get the real good queen shot and yeah, all but that you got stuff. Some good, I saw you got but, some um, good shots on it. Well, we got some good close-up shots of bees, and everybody knows what the bees look like. <laughs> but anyway, we got that. But the, the good part about this what is, is it? that it didn't take two hours to do. How less long? Less than two, an hour and a half, maybe. And, and most of that we're just playing around anyhow and plus we had to wait 
the, uh, for the for the last group. We that's did right. 20 that's minutes right. right here. That's right. Just looked at that last group, you know, and made sure we didn't have a queen. Hey. But you know what? Another good thing is, what is I'm it? not going home to take a nap. Yeah, After I'm leaving here, I'm going fishing. <laughs> No, we not. told him to go fishing this morning, but he had to come with us. Yeah, he oh, was he, I, he I, was worried that Ralph yeah, was going to do the video, and he's going to. And Charlie said, "No, I'm hey, going." It's a union job. <laughs> I am the photographer. Now, I don't do any of that stuff. Uh, Charlie, I already know what Ralph is going to say, but what um, what do you think he's going to say? Oh, he's going to say thanks whatever, for watching. No, he's going to say whatever Charlie said. That's what. I, that's what. Yeah, whatever just, Charlie said. He's he's got it all down. <laughs> Ralph, yeah, what was, happened to It was an easy cutout. It was straightforward. The, you know, there was hardly no bees. That was I, there were was more hive beetles yeah, than bees. Yeah, maybe. there was more hive beetles. A lot of dried up comb. The people had a hive there um, a few years ago, and um, now they came back. I'm sure they'll be back again. Yeah, but if if they don't tear the building down. Yeah. So. All right. Well, Ralph and I are gonna oh, wait. Wait. wait let me one more thing. Ralph and I are going to go up to the Abbey and we're going to go through these bees, see if we can find our queen, and we're going to just put them in a new. Uh, and if we do find the queen, we're going to, you'll have to check out after the close of this video to see if we got a queen. Yeah, there's very little bees in there. Yeah. All right, Ralph, you started. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Keep on watching. <laughs> we'll be making more. God bless, Mr. Red. Good time, Charlie. And Wreck-It Ralph. We're out of here until the next video. God bless everybody. Woo!